Hey, wonderful people, we are Mad Con. And you're watching Curto Circuito. Obrigado. Circuito. Circuito. Curto. It's your first time here to, to play. Uh, for those who only know you from your hit single, Begging, tell me who are you exactly? Yes, who are we? Um, uh, we are uh, two dudes representing uh, Norway as well as Africa, because we've lived in both cultures and uh, we grew up in Norway, but we do uh, uh, our music for the whole world. And uh, hip hop is the perspective, but we also have many influences from uh, Latin and African and Arab and many different cultures. So, uh, uh, yeah, we're trying to represent something new. How did you start? You met where and how? So, I don't know. We met in um, the early 90s. Um, in Oslo, we used to live in like different areas of Oslo, and uh, so we heard about each other all the time. So it's like, oh, Joseph, you should meet Chawi, he's crazy. Chawi, you should meet Joseph, he's crazy. And we met, you know, we clicked, so we started making music after a couple of months. That's like 17 years ago now, so uh, it's been a long time coming. And the hip-hop scene in Norway is very big? It's very small, <laughs> but everything in Norway is very small. Everything in Norway is very small. But hip-hop especially, because it's the newest form of music. We have a lot of known uh, death metal bands, you know, what is in the fire in the hell. And then you have a lot of heavy metal and rock, basically, because uh, uh, Norway has an old rock history, but not so much with hip-hop. So when we started with hip-hop, uh, like 16 years ago, that wasn't such a good business idea, but uh, we loved the music anyway, so... Uh, today we can say it's growing, but uh, we were one of the first guys to start out. What do you think about your single? It's being such a such a hit single. Does it bother you in any way or no? No. If it bothered you, I think you'd be a very spoiled man. Uh, I'm very grateful for the fact that we have the uh, opportunity to come over here and many other countries in Europe and across the world. You know, just to talk shit and basically uh, uh, speak about our music and the fact that people are interested. Uh, in our music is, is a compliment, is, is very great. So this is what we've been asking for for 17 years. Now we have food in the fridge, and for that we have to say obrigado, of course. And I heard that you're hosts of a TV show. Mm -hmm. Yeah, two TV shows actually. Two? Yeah, so the first one is uh, uh, it's called The Voice of Matt Con, which is a music show. So, you know, we present music, that's what we do, and in between the songs, we talk bullshit. <laughs> and the other one is a game show, where we help contestants win money by remembering lyrics. And one of you danced also, right? Yeah. You wanna... The, the difference is, that the ironic thing is that he's the professional dancer, he used to have a professional career. Me, I don't know how to dance, but I still won the competition, so that's very ironic. Caught him or not? Me? No, no, I didn't. I can't dance what he did. It was like cha 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 and waltz and flamenco and foxtrot. I've never yeah, seen that. So before. the next wedding, I'm the man to come and dance with, okay? Forget it, but I'll kill the floor. Thank you for making us number one on your hit list. Uh, obrigado. Obrigado. I love you. I love you. In Portugal, we say eye to eye now, okay? Exchange. Love. Okay, and to the women, we'll exchange something else. Always, man. <laughs>